start of the morning here. Uh, we had a good pizza last night at Pizza Hut. Ate the whole thing without even thinking about it. Uh, and <laughs> had like 64 ounces of sweet tea. It was great. Uh, got a really good night, to, uh, good night of sleep last night. And we're ready to uh, hit the Western Maryland Rail Trail for a while. And we're going to try and get in about 40 miles today. Uh, should be fine. It's about, I don't know, maybe 9.30 in the morning. Um, a little chilly earlier than that, so it's about the time we want to get going. And it uh, looks to be another gorgeous day. Sun is out and uh, not a cloud in the sky. So we're going to hit the road. So we are on the Western Maryland Rail Trail, uh, mile marker 16. Just headed out of Hancock, uh, just enjoying the uh, nice paved trail. There's a little waterfall down there. Very scenic and a nice little uh, change of pace from the towpath um, that once we get off this, we'll <clears throat> be on all the way to Cumberland. So plan is to try and go 40 miles today. And that'll set us for a quick uh, like 20 mile jaunt into Cumberland the next day. And we plan on getting a hotel um, so we can check out the brewery there, uh, the bike shop, the Crabby Pig, all that stuff. And just have uh, not a complete rest day, but a little one uh, before we uh, hit the gap and uh, have to climb up the, the huge hill on the way uh, uh, towards Pittsburgh. So. I'm just enjoying the scenery, another beautiful day. So this is a little uh some sort of railroad, old railroad building where everyone's uh, written a little of their stories here. That's a pretty good one. Pause if you want to read that. It's all kinds of stuff. If you're on the Western Maryland Rail Trail, it's definitely worth a stop for a, a laugh at some of these. Good view though. Nice view of the river. Making some spam tacos. Mmm. Peanut butter it's tacos. Actually, he's got Joe's got peanut butter tacos. They're actually pretty good. Another flat. But I think we figured it out because I found a piece of glass that was like, you could barely feel it on the other side. Jody found where the hole was and we lined it up with the tire. And a piece of glass literally was embedded in the tire and the tire sealed up around it. So I think we found it. Hopefully that's it. I'm getting kind of sick of changing tires or changing tubes. This is, it seems to happen whenever we stop for lunch or for food. The tire <laughs> come back and the tire's flat. So hopefully this will be the last of it. But I just jinxed myself saying that, so carry on. So 
we are on the canal towpath bypass. That's actually my first time doing this. Um, I think it's been under construction since like 2015 at the Paw Paw Tunnel here. Um, I went through, I think the last time I went through was 2018 and they didn't have anything closed off. We were just able to go right through, but now there's a ton of construction equipment. They have it fenced off and stuff. So it'll be interesting. Like I said, I've never done this. And it's hot out. Whew. All right, here goes nothing. This sucks. So we came up the bypass for the pawpaw tunnel and I think what was the fire road, which is wide, very steep, and now we're going down on the actual hiking path. I don't know which way is better. It's kind of treacherous on the hiking path too going down, but who knows. We just got started on it, but it's very steep and rocky and rooty and muddy. <laughs> and there's a huge cliff to each side, to one of the sides, so. If you slip and fall, you probably just die. So we made it, we're alive. We made it down the other side and we're headed into Paw Paw to uh, resupply and some snacks. Uh, and then I think we're gonna try and stay at uh, Potomac Forks, if it's possible. I've always wanted to stay there. It's the one that's, the I think it's the only one that has camping on the other side of the canal. It's got like a, uh, a lock house there and stuff, so we'll check it out. If, if no one's there, we'll stay there. So, heading to Paw Paw to resupply. All right, so we made it to Town Creek Aqueduct, and uh, that's where we're gonna camp tonight. Um, decided not to continue on. It's only 25 miles from here to Cumberland, so it shouldn't be bad in the morning. Um, we're just gonna get settled in. We stopped in Paw Paw and just had a hamburger and fries at the gas station there. So, no need to really cook dinner, just maybe have some snacks or something tonight and uh, hit the hay. Uh, it'll be nice to have a short day tomorrow and then relax uh, in the hotel. Check out the brewery, the Krabby Pig tomorrow. I'm looking forward to that soft shell crab sandwich. That'll be really good. So, yeah, we're just gonna relax for a little bit. It's uh, probably within an hour of sundown uh, and hit the hay. So, see you guys on the next one.